And so we'll say, sounds like you've got lots of people that you're working with. Let me ask you, are you familiar with what they call the low man on the totem pole effect? Many people will go, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of that. You're like, well, I know you know what a totem pole is, right? They're like, yeah. You're like, well, well let me ask you this. Here's how it works. I bet you if I asked you to rank all the people that you're currently giving referrals to, all those professionals, all those people who do what I do, some would be at the top and some would be at the bottom. Would that be fair to assume, right, that they're not all equal? And the person's going to be like, right. And then we say, is, you know what we call the person at the bottom, the person you're referring to who is at the bottom? They're like, what? We're like the low man on the totem pole. And what I would like to do is I'd like to be able to compete for that person's business. I'd like to compete for their position. And then we actually dialogue with them regarding what to do. What I'm saying is, even when they have objections, have you already thought through, have you already been trained exactly how to handle that? Because if you did, then you would realize this is easy, right? You know, what are they going to do? They're not going to hang the phone up on you. They're not going to be impolite, right? This isn't a cold call. This is about as warm a sales situation as you're ever going to be in. But because it's warm, it's possible that people are being polite and that nothing will actually come of it if we don't know precisely and exactly what to do.